Hello. In this video, we will see the validation transform. We will begin with the PPT. So, validation transform. This is how it looks like. Validation transform. When you open validation transform, you see this screen. There are two tabs in it validation proofs and as validation transform options. And we have add to add a validation to edit it or to remove it. And this is substitution. Let's let me go to the BOD tool directly to be easy for you to understand. Okay, I have a job in the name validation, and in the data flow, I have the source table which employee. It has got some 7000 odd records in it. The schema of this is like this country, name, phone, email, so the fields. Then, when you click on the validation transform, this is like a screenshot. So I'll add a validation here. The definition of these fields is also explained in the PPT. So I want to apply validation on country. So I'll call it a country. You can call it anything, but it will be easier for to understand if you name it correctly. And say validation. It's not mandatory to describe it. And you have enabled ignore if null action on faith. I'll explain the PPT. Okay, enabled. Let's see what's written in here. So first output opcodes. So the output from this validation transform will be only three. We'll have the pass, the fail and the rule violation. And out of these at least one must be connected to the target table. Otherwise it's an error. Uh, what does pass mean? Pass means the record that passed the validations. Fail the records which failed. Rule violations. The rule violation table will have these two columns in it. The first rule name. The name is this field, the country just now written here and the DA column name is on which column you have applied the validation this name in here I have not yet applied, I will apply it will be on country country so country I want it to be Haiti so my country is Haiti so I say okay. okay so this is it next is uh, you have this option enabled I have checked it let's see what is what does it mean if it is unchecked that particular rule will not be applied or since it is checked this is applied then rule rule is the same like I have said Haiti here I'll have I'll have one more condition here I'll apply it on name so I'll say name validation name validation and I'll let the settings same and apply it on column name and name is equals to uh, you must be careful it's a case sensitive Akash it should, uh, the data should be same as Akash here small everything in small if you get capital A that's not that's a violation that will not pass a validation and in, in place of column validation you can even have a, a validation function as well if you have any validation function like this I have some options See here, employer is my parameter. It is asking for some parameters. So I'll say name, likewise salary. So I don't want to use the validation transform right now. I'll have validation a column. So name, Akash, it's already okay. So you have these two validations applied. So in every row, we'll have to go through these two validations. And these two will act as an AND condition. Let's see, it's mentioned here. See more than one condition will be treated as AND condition. Here, in the screenshot, you see there are uh, two validation applied. So, if a row satisfies both, if the value of the row is 1001 and the name is Akash, then it has passed the validation, it will go to pass. Okay, what's the next option? Ignore if no. So, this is it. By default, it is no. That means you don't want to ignore the row if it contains null in the country field or null in the name field. See, on fail. What if the record fails the validation? Oh, sorry, here we were. Ignore if null. What does it say? If, uh, as per the um, uh, as per this screenshot, the rule is applied to employee ID, so described based on the employee ID. If employee ID is null, do you want to validate the record or not? If you say yes, it validates. That means. If you say no, it does not validate. That means everything will be loaded into pass. Because you are not validating that you are skipping the record. You are skipping the validation itself. So this is how I'll explain you with some other set of data, some other set of uh, validations. Because I have a data that satisfies this condition, it will be easy to understand. 
So next option is action on fail. So this is we have three options here: send to pass, fail, and both. By default, it is fail. That means uh, where do you want to store the failed records? You want it to be a fail target, pass, or both. Same. By default, it is fail. The error and leg. We'll see it in the with the tool itself. First, we'll check this. <coughs> so, in brief, what what it says is. If any row satisfies these two conditions, they, that will be sent to pass. Otherwise, that will be sent to fail. Let's see, does it work accordingly or not? I have pass here. Choose this data store and say pass. I want to send the pass record. Here. So I have failure. Fail records will be sent here. And I have one more. That is violation. Two violations. So, the rules applied here are the Haiti and Akash. Let's see what all records we have. In the employee table, where country is equals to Haiti. The condition that is matching is one double zero one. It is matching the condition Haiti and Akash. If you see for Haiti, there is no other Akash here. You don't see. So basically, in the past table, you must have this only one record, and the rest should go to fail. Let's see. Let's run this job now. One. Pass. Say condition was Haiti and Akash. It's passed. The rest are into fail records, and the fail will have three more columns. It's explained in this screenshot as well. Where is it? Fail. It's a rule violation. Okay, fail records. For the fail records, you have these three columns. The error action is F. It means fail, and the uh, the reasons or the validations the row failed. There were two validations applied. On one on country and one on name, so it failed both the rules. Rules, country and name. Because if you see, it's not Haiti. Sorry, okay, it's not Haiti because I said it's a case sensitive case. I I have written capital H here, so here it is small. That means it has failed the validation. And name I said Akash, it's not Akash, so it failed. So the reason, the reason is uh, fail failure of both these conditions. And row ID for the row number given is one. Now you can see the description again in here. Rule violation. These all will be here. Not uh, these. Only the row ID. And the reason of the failure. I checked fail. I want rule violation. Violation. I want the fail here. See how it works. According to the row ID one, this is first row. And it failed due to what? First condition, country. It failed country. Yes. And the second condition that you applied, name. It failed name, name. So you have these two conditions. That means the row one, the row one failed because in failed in both these conditions, country and name. This is what in short it is written here. Written here, country and name. This is just elaborated here. Rule violation. Which options we missed out? Okay. Uh, action. Sorry. We missed out on um, this ignore if null. So let's find a condition where name is not Akash. Ignore if null. Okay, let's work with the same. Work with the same. Ignore if null. Okay, I have this condition. Haiti. Okay, now, now I'll change the condition. I'll make it condition to be small h. I'll make this condition small h. I have only one record that is satisfying the condition. So as per this, a row should be uh, Haiti and Akash. But if you see in the source side, it's Haiti and Null. If I execute it as it is with the same setting, we won't get anything in the past record because it's not satisfying the condition. What I want is I want to ignore the value 
बस आई वॉन्ट टू इग्नोर द कॉलम इफ इट इज नल एंड वॉन्ट टू सेंड दिस रिकॉर्डिंग टू पास नाउ वॉट वेल डू इज इफ नेम इन आकाश इज नल आई वॉन्ट टू इग्नोर इट ओके सो दैट दैट कॉलम विल बी वैलिडेशन विल बी इग्नोर फॉर दैट कॉलम सो यू हैव अगेन वन सेम रिकॉर्ड इन द टारगेट टेबल दिस टाइम इट्स अ स्मॉल हाई थिंग So, because I ignored the validation transform of name. If I did not ignore the validation trans validation of of name null, then we won't get anything here. Check here. So we'll have everything in the field, nothing in the pass. Pass is zero. So everything is in fail. Now what you want the fail records to be in the fast itself. Now what I'll do, I'll change the action. I want that. Send it to pass. Next, I want this. Send it to pass. Now run. You will have everything in run. Pass now. Though nothing is matching the validation condition, since you opted to change the action to pass, everything will be pass. So fail is zero. Everything is in pass. Fail is zero, and everything is in pass. So these are the action and fail works. And when you set to pass and both, then this option works. So this is mentioned in here. Not error. Okay, error. If any rules fails in send to pass, substitute with. This is it. If any rule fails, send to pass. Substitute with. It says if any of the rule fails, send to pass. I have made it to pass, or you can both. You can opt for both. Send to both. For timing, I'll make it only pass. I don't want the record to be everywhere. Pass. Send the failed records to pass or to both, replacing with a custom message or input as shown below. Okay. Note it works only when the action on fail is either pass or both. Do we have a screenshot? Okay, I said here. Replace the column value of name as not Akash. As per screenshot, if you see the condition applied is if the employee ID is one double zero one and name is Akash, then send. Here, the action is made to pass. So, the entries in the pass value will be one for Akash Haiti. The rest are not Akash. So I'll uh, let me go to the view list too. Okay, I said if it is Haiti and Akash, Haiti since it is null, I want it to be replaced by expression not Akash. Okay, now what happens is. If the condition fail, of course it will fail because in here if you see Haiti, you have Haiti, but name is not Akash. So I have sent sent to pass. So even if condition fails, that will be sent to pass with message not Akash in this caller. Let's see how does it work. to pass haiti not akash okay this is a uh, see we are getting all these records because of the settings i'll change the settings then so that we will get only haiti as not akash if it is this i want them to send to fail now you won't get the other records You get only the Haiti and not Akash column. Sorry, not Akash value. One. See here, Haiti. So it's not Akash. So 
I substituted the value with not hash. So these are all the options available in validation transform. And even you can uh, substitute this. Say I, I want it to send to pass again. This time I'll rename this column with country not Haiti. Not Haiti. So wherever there is no Haiti. So every uh, basically every record will come in here. Nothing is going to fail because action on fail is always pass. See fail is zero. Fail you have zero. And we have in here you have only one for Haiti and the rest are not not not. Haiti not a cash. No. Not a cash. This this this. Not either because it's a capital Haiti. So these are the options available in this. Have you missed out on anything? Now you can just remove this transforms if you wish. Remove, add, edit. Then here, di row ID and validation fail. We have this column here, di row ID. Di row ID. So this is it. This is about the validation transform. Hope I made it clear. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you think it's a worthy video. Thank you so much.